In the final portion of this course, we'll begin with a familiar graph. This is the graph we are using to reference an Excel sheet with four adaptive component points. These four points have XYZ values which are imported as strings into Dynamo, and then we're using a series of operations to turn these strings into points. These points are then used to array our adaptive components. Now we're going to look at using the same functionality except all of this mess here that we use to create our points, we're going to condense that into a more elegant form. And in order to do this, we're going to use CodeBlock. Now CodeBlock is one of the best tools in Dynamo. It allows you to use programming language in your visual scripting environment. Uh, we've used it briefly in earlier parts of this course, but we're going to take it to another level now. So before we begin, Let's zoom to the right side of this graph and let's disconnect our points here. We're not going to be working in Revit for the time being, so we won't worry about generating our adaptive components. So with that unplugged, I'm going to maximize the Dynamo window. We'll be working in Dynamo. And I'll hit Zoom Extents in the top right to see our whole graph. And let's hit Run. So I jumped back to Revit for a moment, but I'll go back to Dynamo. And let's see what our results are. We're reading the Excel sheet. This is a list of strings representing a point for each adaptive component. And then in the previous lesson, we briefly walked through how to use this sample definition. This is using a series of custom nodes. And by opening these up, uh, these have their own list of list operations. So jumping back to our graph, Let's first briefly rehash a code block. I'll type in code block in our library and drop that onto the canvas. So with the code block dropped onto the canvas, uh, we can create a string. And let's check run automatically. We're going to be moving quickly here. So we can see our output is a string. We can also create a number. If I hit select all and type in three, our output is a number. A great feature is I can type in a variable and create an equation, and CodeBlock will add that input to the node. So if I pull up a slider here, dropping that onto the canvas. So we need to define an x input for this function. I'll plug the slider into x, and now I can see our results update as we scroll the slider. Let's see our slider is adding 3 to this output. I can also define another function below. Now we need a y input. I'll copy this slider. Plug our input into y and you can see it's now adding the sum of these two sliders. Now the output here is going to be the output of the function in our final line of the code block. I can clear the search bar and pull up a watch node if I want to see the output of the slide above it. And one more thing you can do is a great functionality. Uh, these nodes in Dynamo are actually, the title of these nodes are actually representing uh, the syntax for Design Script, which is the language we're using in code block. If I clear the library and let's pull up a point, do point by coordinates, dropping on that onto the canvas, I can plug an x value from one slider and a y from another. See what our output is here. We have a point defined by our x, y, and z. But referencing the title of this node, I can zoom into our code block and I'll hit enter for another line and do point dot by coordinates x comma y comma zero. So the inputs within the parentheses there are in the same order as they are the inputs of the node from top to bottom. You can see we have an identical output in our code block as we do to this node. So with that in mind, let's delete these guys. I've now reviewed the code block and let's use some of these operations on our actual graph. 